Well, our goal here is to select a team of the year. A young superstar. You're talking about language now. Not just because she's English. Oh. <laughs> you just done that to annoy Jamie. Yeah. That's the celebration, look! Muy bien, muy bien, tú? Bien, muy bien. <laughs> look at his face! Can I, can I get a transfer here? Yeah. <laughs> Come on! Ooh, Come now on. we're cooking! Yeah, yeah, I like it. This is your midfield three. One, two, three! Gaffer's all over the place. <laughs> Well, today at 2 p.m., Galazzo Network will host a special EA Sports FC Team of the Year men's and women's kickoff show to launch their Team of the Year voting. Kate, Jamie, Micah, and Alex Scott are joined by Jude Bellingham and World Cup winner Alexia Puteas as they draft their best men's and women's 11 from the EA Sports FC nominees. Then at 2.30, you don't want to miss this, Micah takes on Jude Bellingham in a winner-takes-all match of EA Sports FC 24 where the state have never been higher. Oh my goodness. Do we think Micah is any good at, at this FIFA? game? Yeah. At EAFC? EAFC? No, but he I think it'll be fun to watch. It, it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, he's involved. It'll be fun. Absolutely. I feel, and, I, <laughs> and don't you think like Jude Bellingham is probably just one of these guys that's good at everything he tries? Yeah. Yeah. Really. yeah. Right? Do you think Jude plays as Real Madrid? Get, have to, right? Right, yeah. you have to. You could go national Unless team. You could play Bir with Birmingham. Yeah. You have Birmingham to. City. Back All in right. the day, there was a rumor that when Messi was playing online, like he, Messi, th that wasn't the rumor. Messi was playing online. That's a fact. And apparently, he was like supremely was. good at FIFA. Who, of course. Uh, before his kids. Who's shocked? Nobody. Before what? Before his kids, he was like. Yeah. World class at FIFA. All right. Yeah. Um, ask, okay, so I love the Argentina rumor mill. It's like, look how good Messi is at something else. Well, we want to <laughs> we want to set the stage for this uh, for this show. So we are going to select our kind of collective uh, best eleven, our best team of the year for EA, EAFC, and this is how it's going to work. We're going to have a goalkeeper, four defenders, three midfielders, and three forwards. And okay. so we are kind of each going to go around and make our picks. And Nico. You have uh, the esteemed honor of selecting our goalkeeper. So let's take a look at the nominees for goalkeeper of the year. Okay. Who are you taking? Okay, so I'm between two. Mike Mignon, mm -hmm. but he's been prone to an error here or there. So I'm gonna go with the starting goalkeeper for the Brazilian national team. Ederson. Mm -hmm. I had a feeling. He's a good distributor. He, the point of attack always begins with Ederson. So. Okay. I like him. All right. And he's a good goalkeeper. How do you guys feel about Nico's selection at keeper? Yeah, I would have gone with either Ederson or Alisson. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Same. Yeah. And just because I feel Ederson doesn't get the credit he deserves in a, in a lot of really? ways. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I would go with Ederson as well. Okay. I mean, they won the treble. Yeah. yeah. And also let Ederson take penalties. And last season, by the way, Mark Ter Stegen for Barca. With no Ter Stegen, Barca doesn't win any of the things that they won, so. Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I probably would have gone Allison, but that's not a Shakarooski, is it? No. Um, let's move Shakarooski. <laughs> <laughs> let's move it along to the defenders. Let's take a look at the nominees that we have for this. And uh, Charlie, I think you get first pick here. We're each gonna make one, but you get first pick. We're picking four. Yeah, I'll go right off the bat, Ruben Diaz. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Okay. He was absolutely sensational at the back for Manchester City. Mm -hmm. In terms of the, the little things, the blocks, the positioning, interceptions, reading the game so well. Mm -hmm. He allows Rodri and KDB the freedom because he's just so good at putting out fires. Okay. Yeah. All right. Hey. I respect it. Alexis, you're I couldn't up next. agree more. But now you make my job very difficult because obviously we should. We don't have, also, we don't have to pick like two center backs. Like we can. Oh, just, we don't? No, 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 no. Okay. We can pick. Yeah, but for obvious reasons, regardless of whether okay. we can pick a center back or not, Van Dyke should be the next name called. But if I don't say this person's name, no one else will call it. You think Saliba. Van Dyke Saliba. should be the next name called? Yeah. You're going to say Saliba? For last season? Yes. Saliba. I knew you would pick Saliba. So if I don't say William Saliba, no one else will. And I think 
there's a reason why. He doesn't get dribbled past very often. I think he's only been dribbled past once so mm -hmm. far this season. He's an absolute Rolls Royce of a defender. Right. He's someone who's fast. His pace can, uh, can, uh, he can get back. Mm -hmm. Absolute incredible defender. I also like him on set pieces. I'm going to say William Saliba. Okay, okay, so this takes into account the last season. Who's your next pick? Yeah, this is where I struggle because Virgil is having a phenomenal season for Liverpool. I think we are seeing Virgil van Dijk back as the Virgil van Dijk that yeah. we all know. I mean, there's nobody who is more calm uh, on that back line. But he was coming off that ACL injury. He mm. did not have a Good great season. season. So... Funny enough, neither did Trent. I know. Well, Trent's not a defender. De defending, right? But now he's... Hey, he's here. He's on the list. He is but on now the list. he's back, yeah? He is. I'm not going Trent. Um, so I'm, so I'm actually... So if we were going by, like, this year and this season, I would say Virgil. But, mm -hmm. And um, Trent. Because of sort of the performance from last year, I'm going to give it to Kim Min Jae. Yes, of course. Yeah. Who was absolutely out. For, I'm, a, for I'm a, a little shocked that Bastoni wasn't chosen amongst us. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Nico got a pick. Okay, you guys are going to laugh at me. Mm -hmm. Bastoni like, I'm, absolutely I'm, deserves to be honest. I'm willing to negotiate a Bastoni for my last and final pick, but I'm being serious, I know, though. I know where he's oh, going. Oh, boy, where's I'm he being go serious. If you say Otamendi. I know he's going to say it. If you say Otamendi, we're, I'm, I'm not going to take you serious. Otamendi was the best defender, best center back at the World Cup. He would, and they won the World Cup, and this is considered last season. I last don't season disagree. from August through May, the season where there was a World Cup smack in the middle, and he was led the charge for Benfica. I don't know if he was that great, but Charlie was he not? Oh, give me a yes or no answer. <laughs> Otamendi was a top three center back at the World Cup. Yes or no? That's all I want. May I remind you there's camera? Uh, I, <laughs> yes or no? That's I all I want. I, I understand your reaction for sure, but he's on the list for a reason. Had Otamendi not had that World Cup, he wouldn't be here. So, the question is... Well, he, he was on a team that won the World Cup. By being one of the best defenders and best players on that team. Yeah, I would say he was not top three center backs at the World Cup. You didn't watch the World Cup. So yeah, I didn't watch the World Cup. <laughs> if you if you could pick a defender, who would you pick? Other than you would pick Bastoni. Bastoni. Yeah, same. L okay. Locked at, He's he's been arguably Inter's best defender, and Inter have been locked down. Yeah, they I went completely to the, agree. They, they went to the Champions League final. Syria winners. Win? Okay, they won this. Uh, <laughs> they won. What are we talking about sure. here? I mean, I, I'm kind of just stirring the pot, but. I you just want to. You're, 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 flying, you're flying the flag. <laughs> I am. I am. You're flying the flag. And, and I told you this from the very beginning. Uh, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm flying, so I'm telling you, Bastoni <laughs> led an interside that okay. was dominant defensively. Two of us say Bastoni, both of you say Otamendi. Keep, I say Otamendi. I'm with Nico. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, I thought. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Nico's like, someone has my back? <laughs> keep, that, keep that logic. Keep, keep that logic. So if, if Suze agrees with me, I always give Suze the hat. She's a tiebreaker, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suze, who you pick? Otamendi. Okay. Yeah. Fair no, enough. I, I agree. He was. I agree with you. He was the best center back in the World Cup. Okay, let's move it along to midfielders where we are picking three. Here's a look at the nominees. Alexis, you get first pick here. There is a look. We have three midfielders. There's a lot of incredible midfielders oh. here, but I have to make the decision whether I go attacking uh -huh. or whether I go defending. Just give me your the best player. Just give me a, the best player. Who's an automatic choice? Obviously, Bellingham would be my top pick. Okay. Not right now. Wow, but it's for last season. For, but if it's if it's it, for I last know. season, I would say Valverde. Okay. I'm going to go. Oh, man. Like, so I pick Bellingham. Okay, you pick Bellingham. Wait, so. Yeah. And then I get to go. So, so out next. of all, uh -huh. you're locked down. I mean, there's a lot of choices here. Gundogan, I think, is an absolute proven okay. winner. Rodri. He ended the season incredibly I'm, if well. If you're taking Bellingham, I'm taking Rodri. And I think we're, Charlie, you and I are thinking. You're the last, you're the last pick here. I delegate to you. I know who, we're both going to pick the same player. KDB. Of course. A, a million percent. Yeah. yeah. There you go, there you go. That's a good midfield. That's Rodri. a really good midfield. Mm -hmm. KDB. Yeah. And Gunduan. And wait, who? who Bellingham. Valverde. Valverde, Valverde, yeah. Wait, did you pick Valverde or Bellingham? You I think I'm Bellingham, actually. Yeah, yeah. I forgot because I went both. I, I circled both of them. You know who I, I pick? I pick Madrid. How about that? I thought you were going to pick 
said, wait. Well, <laughs> I said, who that man? He said, wait. Uh, I can't read this. That's a kid. So, what? <laughs> Matoma. Or <laughs> Matoma up in there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Are you going to have me? And KDB. <laughs> and Otamendi in wow. the midfield. <laughs> Man, we're a mess. My man, my man said okay. five names in two <laughs> like, seconds. We're going to move it on uh, up top to the attackers. attackers. We get three attackers, and I get first pick. Yep. These are the nominees, and I'm going to go su super obvious on this one. It's Erling Holland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. That's not who I thought you were going to go with. Who did you think honest. I was going to go with? Muhammad. Hmm. So last year, I, how do you how, all of the records that Holland broke? Come on. I know, but let's, I, let's do this I for real. I know, I know. Let's do this for I real, can, though. I can think. I can. I can take my heart out of these decisions. For the next two picks, since I don't get to pick one, if Erling Holland is dead center, <laughs> who are the wings that you would pick to play with Erling Holland? <laughs> Mo Salah. <laughs> okay. Wait. wait. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Actually, no. I, <laughs> what was smack dab in the middle of the season last year? <laughs> The World Cup. <laughs> who was the not best there? player? Okay, so to that <laughs> logic. <laughs> who was not there? Early <laughs> <laughs> To that logic. Wait, who'd you say? Who okay, Nico. <laughs> I think Lee I said Kang all in. of them, actually. He just said Lee Kang in. <laughs> Yo, shout to Lee Kang Nico. in, bro. Nico, go ahead. Nico, give us With a, your give logic, us a go ahead. Don't even. And it does, you know the, we, you know the name that goes on the left or the right. The way, yeah. for, for defenders. So, like, there is no, we don't yeah. have to think positionally. About this. But I do. I think we should pick it that way for the for, for the forwards. We who would you want to play? Them. You get to pick whoever you want. Okay. So who would you pick if you had if you could buy anyone? Who would you pick to play next to? Come on, Nico. <laughs> so my hunch is Osimhen, but judging by the same logic that you criticized me for choosing Otamendi, how would you feel if I chose Messi? I actually hmm. would think that's a better pick than Otamendi, given what Messi did on two different club levels and a World Cup. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Fair. Yeah. Okay. It's messy. What are you talking about? I'm we... choosing. I'm choosing Aussie man. Over messy. One. One city. Yeah. Oh my God. He's just trying to cause chaos and <laughs> so disruption. Who goes on the right? And anger. All the above. wild. Okay, who goes Charlie. On the right? African player. Charlie, the round us out here, please. <sighs> we twisted his arm. No, I'm gonna pick Messi. Like. Are we serious right now? Are we serious? It's Lionel Messi. Okay. And if you're Lionel ever Lester. talking about World Cup logic and you're going to go yeah. with Osimhen? If it was a 4 4 2 and Erling Haaland got picked, who would you have picked as a striker? You want to pick Oda If it was 4 4 2 and Erling Haaland got picked, who would you pick as a second striker? If Messi's on the list, Messi's going to be on the list. I would have picked Kane. Kane and Haaland together? That'd be okay. fun. All right. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, compiled best 11 for our EAFC team of the year. Here's, here's how it, it looks. Um, I mean. I did pick Jude Bellingham. Solid, huh? you did. <laughs> I think you did pick Jude Bellingham. It's a lot of city. A lot of city, yeah. It's a lot of city. It's a lot of city, man. You think, you not think, one? You think OC Men is <laughs> over Kane? There's not one. I picked Vinny Jr. over Also, Osimen. no you, Killian Mbappe. You think Men had a better season than Kane? <laughs> the four is that. Too. This is nuts. Oh my God! Yeah. Wow. I mean, considering the compare Osimhen's season and a half with this Napoli, then Kane's season with Spurs and half with Bayern. Okay. And, well. And Mbappe doesn't get on the list, yeah. scoring a hat trick in a final. The cup final. I'm well, about, I'm about leave Kane in. We we kind of made a mess of this, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> at 2 p.m. I just want to say at 2 p.m. I'm, I'm, I'm not a part of this. Network. Don't don't put me on this. Oh, you're a part of it. Don't Chuck. put me on this. We team all go down selections. together. We're a team here, uh, guys. Don't forget 2 p.m. Galazzo Network, uh, the EA Sports FC Team of the Year kickoff show. All right, we're going to take a break. We are looking ahead to today's third round FA Cup match between Wigan and Manchester United coming up after a quick timeout.